Today, I'll be showing you how to use Opacity in Prezi. Opacity can be used for many different reasons. I'll go through three different examples on how Opacity can be used in Prezi and why it can be an effective tool to enhance your presentation. Example 1. Say you have a few important documents or pieces of information you want to display on your Prezi. They are all equally important, but you want them to be presented in an orderly structure. I'll show you how Opacity can help create the feeling of structure and order in your presentation. First, you will need to select your Opacity template, which you can select from images. It will be a PNG file, so you can crop the Opacity to fit your content. Here we have a black and white Opacity template. For this example, I will select the black Opacity. Crop the Opacity to fit. Then select the new image and bring to front. So it will sit in front of the opacity you just brought in. Then repeat these steps. Once that is done, select the front image with the second opacity and group them. and then select the second image and the first opacity and group also. Before moving the images back in place, go to your frame thumbnails on the left hand side of your screen, click edit path and then select animate frame content. This will allow you to fade in images and select which order they will fade in. This is why we group the images and the opacities. Then move the content back in place. Now you can see how opacity is used to create the feeling of order and hierarchy. Example two. This example demonstrates how opacity creates the feeling of hierarchy and arrangement. Say you have a busy page that is full of information, images or photographs Applying an opacity over certain areas allows for a neater and more structured page that is easy to follow and look at. This time I'll use a white opacity. Like before, crop the opacity to fit your content. And you can see how using opacity allows certain content to be the primary objective. We can add more depth to it by fading in the opacities to create an order or story. Example 3. Opacities can be used to help identify and recognise content on a busy background so that it does not get lost or misplaced. For example, say you have a nice image you want to put text over, however when you do, the text gets lost and you can't read it. I will show you how you can use an opacity to make your content stand out and readable. Place your text where you would like. You can see that some of the text blends in with the background and it is unreadable. Select the opacity colour which suits your content, in this case white. Select the text and bring it to front so it sits in front of the opacity. Crop the opacity to fit and now you have readable text over a busy image. Follow these instructions to receive your own black and white opacity templates. First, go to your monthly Prezi newsletter and scroll down to this month's tips and tricks. You'll see along with the video is a button for the opacity templates. They will appear in your Dropbox for you to download and use. Thanks for listening.